Hey, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're going to do another example of using the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. This is the equation we'll use, x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0. So let's plug it into the formula and see what happens. So the formula says that x is equal to the opposite or minus of b, and in our case b is minus 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so minus 3 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which in our case is 5. That's all under the square root symbol. And all of that is divided by 2 times a, which again, a is 1. Okay, so let's see what happens now. x equals the opposite of negative 3, or the negative of negative 3 is just positive 3, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared is 9. Now here we have a minus, and this is a plus, and this is a plus, so we're going to still have a minus. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 4 is 20. All of that over 2 times 1, which is just 2. So we have 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 20 is negative 11, all over 2. Now, if you'll notice, we're trying to take the square root of a negative number. And if we're working in the set of real numbers, we can't do that. You can do that in a larger set of numbers called the set of complex numbers, but that's a different topic. So in this case, if we're working in the set of real numbers, since we can't take the square root of a negative number, that means that our answer is that this quadratic equation has no real roots. And what that means is that in the set of real numbers, this quadratic equation has no solutions. And that's another example of using the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. Thanks for learning with me today. If you have any questions on this topic or anything having to do with math, please click on the links or send us a request to requests at mahalo.com. See you later.